Okay, so I wanted to explain the enhanced autopilot because it has, uh, it's a really cool feature, but it does have limitations. So while driving the car, notice that we have the speed we're going up here, we're in drive. Here is what cruise control would default to. Um, so it says 65, but it does, and it has a gray circle around it. According to the GPS, it believes that the speed here is, the speed limit here is 65 miles per hour. So it's always gonna default to the speed limit. And over here, notice this little uh, steering wheel, which means that the enhanced autopilot steering is available. Notice if I change lanes or something and I'm between lanes, uh, it turns off because while you're between lanes, it's not a good time to turn it on. So we're going 60, speed limit 65. You can see there's a car up ahead of me. You can also see that the enhanced autopilot is seeing the cars in the neighboring lane. It won't look two lanes over. It will not tell you if there's a car in your blind spot. It only tells you, like this car on my left just passed me and now he becomes available. So while he was in my blind spot, he was not showing up here yet. It will, because there are cameras on the side of the car, but currently that is not a feature. So don't rely on your blind spot down here. So I'm gonna get behind a slower car to demonstrate. Okay, so I'm going 65-ish, the speed limit's 65-ish. Um, what I'm gonna do to turn on the enhanced auto, well, I'll show you cruise control first. The uh, stock here, the, this thingy on the right-hand side, if you push it down once, now you will see here that it says 65 max. And I currently have it set to five car lengths behind. So right now, the, my foot is not involved. The car is doing this by itself. So it's gonna go up to 65 miles per hour maximum. And it'll stop accelerating there. But I'm coming up on a slower car up ahead of us here, this, this van. And as I get five car lengths away from it, you'll see that the vehicle is now slowing its speed by itself. So still, there's no foot involved at all. The car is doing the acceleration and the braking by itself. Now, we have this gray steering wheel, which also implies, it says, I can steer for you if you'd like. So to do that, um, give me a second here, because we have submerging traffic. So when that car pulled in front of me, you could see that the vehicle is slowing down to maintain that distance and he would continue to back off until he gets the uh, five car lengths that I currently have set in the settings of the vehicle. And now it's speeding up because we have the desired distance. So I'm steering the vehicle now, but this gray wheel means that it would allow me to steer. And again, we have more merging traffic. Um, so I normally do this one lane over. I prefer not to do it in this lane, but okay. So. If I double tap down, so on the little stock here, one, two, now the steering wheel has turned blue. It does say, please keep your hands on the wheel and you were responsible for driving. But you can see I do not have my hands on the wheel and it is turning around these turns and it continues to speed up and slow down to maintain the distance. So I am, my hands aren't on the wheel, but I am ready to take control because on something like a tight turn like this, Sometimes it will swerve too far into the left lane, but the vehicle did do that turn all by itself. If I turn on my turn signal, sometimes it turns. I'm gonna do it myself. So if I take control by sort of bumping the, uh, the steering wheel, so it is a little sticky. Don't, don't swerve the car too hard trying to get it out of cruise control. Now it's still controlling my speed because we have a blue circle around the speed, but the steering part is turned off. So don't, uh, don't like take it away and then forget that you're supposed to be doing the steering now. And if I want it to take over the steering again, I would just, see the steering wheel was not available because I was sort of kind of starting to turn. So we have some exit only lanes here. So now the steering wheel is available, double tap. And again, the vehicle is doing the uh, steering. And we'll try this turn signal thing again. Okay, this time I turned on the turn signal and the vehicle turned. And once it's finished turning, I bump the uh, turn signal off. Uh, have heard rumors where if you turn the turn signal off while it's switching lanes and it determines that the lane you were in is closer, it could swing back into that lane. So wait until it's finished switching lanes before you uh, turn the turn signal off. 
Um, and at any time, you can get full control of the car by just tapping the brake. So I'm about to do that. Notice right now it has cruise control and steering turned on. I'm My hand is here for fun, but the car is basically doing all of the steering and all of the acceleration and decelerating by itself. Um, you know, I have a trailer here. But if I wanted control right now without jerking the steering wheel, all I'm going to do is tap the brake and everything turns off and you have complete control of the vehicle again. So again, double tap. The car has full control of steering and acceleration, deceleration. And this is me tapping the brake. Everything goes away and you have full control of the car. So the nice thing about tapping the brake instead of trying to pull the steering wheel away is when you pull the steering wheel away, it only turns off the steering. The car is still under auto, uh, cruise control, so it's difficult to remember which one you just turned off. Uh, the other thing is, like I said, the steering wheel is a little sticky. If I have the, if I have this double tap, if I have this turned on, and I want to just take the autopilot away, it's it's a sticky steering wheel. I actually have to like swerve the car ever so slightly to take control of it. Um, and so, like I said, brake pedal just turns everything off. Worst case scenario, the person behind you see you tap your brake, but it's only momentarily. So that's how to do cruise control. Uh, sorry, the enhanced autopilot. I do want to point out that the vehicle uh, does not have any... It has the full self-driving option, but that's not implemented by Tesla yet. So currently, the vehicle does not understand red lights, stop signs, puppies, children squirrels any of that so it will happily fly through a red light at 70 miles per hour unless there's a vehicle in front of you that stops then the car will stop behind that car of course if that car runs the stoplight you will too so those are the limitations please keep your hand on or very close to the steering wheel uh, because there are still some surprise situations uh, that the car is still learning and uh, for your safety and the safety of the car, you are still responsible for driving even if you are playing with the enhanced autopilot. Thanks, have fun.